Muslim thug smiles as widow cries at murder trial, judges six words slap smirk off his face. While a carjacker and his accomplices were on trial for the murder of a man who was protecting his wife, the grieving widow gave a heart-wrenching statement. However as soon as the infuriated judge spotted the criminal's self-satisfying smirk, he shouted him down with six words that immediately caused his evil grin to fade. The West is no longer ignorant of the violent fundamentals of Islam as its barbaric religious compulsions have already begun spreading across our borders. As condemnable as inhumanity committed in the name of Allah is to nearly all who encounter it, perhaps even more disturbing is the left's willingness to excuse it at all costs. Unfortunately for the Muslim criminals in a particular New Jersey courtroom, there was no ideological supremacy that trumped justice. Carjackers Basim Henry, 32, Kevin Roberts, 33, Hanif Thompson, 29, and Carrie Ford, 31, fatally shot 30-year-old Dustin Friedland as he valiantly tried to defend his 27-year-old wife, Jamie, at the Short Hills Mall in December 2013, the New York Daily News reports. Although Jamie made it out alive, she could only cradle her dying husband in her arms as he took his last breath. Expectedly. Jamie's final statement during Basim's trial in Newark was just as heartbreaking as her ordeal. However, Basim, who had participated in the carjacking but was not believed to have killed Dustin, found her devastating grief amusing. Seeing Basim smirking just after Jamie's emotional address, Judge Raven's outrage over the crimes took a very personal turn, prompting him to shout that he can smile all he wants but he'll be doing it in prison for the rest of your life. Footage from within the courtroom shows Basim's grin slowly subside as the reality of an eternity behind bars starts to set in. Because his smile proved his remorselessness, Judge Ravin threw the book at him, sentencing him to serve a life sentence without parole eligibility until he has spent at least 68 years and 9 months behind bars. By this time, Basim will be 104 years old, according to NorthJersey.com. Despite appearing overconfident during the beginning of his hearing, Basim's despicable arrogance soon morphed into panic. Basim decried Judge Raven's harsh sentencing, complaining that he was making an example of him and that he wasn't tripping. Still, Judge Raven continued to chastise Basim along with mocking his inappropriate and disrespectful courtroom mannerisms. I don't know what that means, Raven said. But it doesn't sound like remorse, that's for sure. Although Raven's ruling is the maximum penalty, Dustin's family explained that nothing can atone for his untimely death. There is no victory for us today, Rose Friedland said. Dustin will not be with us again and there will be two mothers without their sons. Jamie still recalls the moment she lost her husband, which included remarks that Basim supposedly found entertaining. I turned around and saw Dustin laying there in a pool of blood, Jamie Friedland said. I ran over to him, and I was screaming. I was screaming, stay with me. I saw him gasping for breath and his eyes looking at me. Basim is the first of the four carjackers to receive his sentence, which predicts an equally grim outcome for his accomplices. He was charged with felony murder, murder, carjacking, conspiracy to commit carjacking, possession of a permitless weapon, possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. He prior convictions stem from a life of crime beginning when he was still a minor. In a world in which the nations that are supposed to be the most progressive and enlightened, we see deranged criminals like Basim easily avoid deserved punishment simply because of their minority status. As such, Judge Raven's commentary and the subsequent ruling are not only refreshing but, sadly, uncommon. If Basim's sentence is any indicator of his accomplices' upcoming hearings, we can expect Judge Raven to bury these heartless thugs below the prison where they can smile to their heart's content, content.